Hey guys, this is Jen from Scan and Cut Canvas and Scale Help on Facebook. Okay, so I have a little uh, card here. This is just a design that I put on the page for Valentine's Day. Um, and you want to make envelopes. You don't want to go out and you don't want to buy them. You want to make them yourself. So let's get busy on how to actually design your own envelopes. What I will tell you to do is actually make a blank. Why you're first starting out so that you know it's going to fit. Make a blank for what your card is. Okay. So the size of your card. Put that blank there. So that you know your envelope will fit in it. So here is what it measures. So measure your card and make sure that what that is is right here. Okay. Change the color so that it does not get lost. Okay, so now you want to lay out what the backing or what the actual card is going to be. How much of the distance you want. Now, sure, if you want to make it a certain A4, A whatever. I get confused um, with those sizes, so I have little cheat sheets that I use. To center those up, come over here to your H and your V. And that's how much it's going to overhang each side. Now, if your card's going to be really thick, I highly encourage you to make it a wee bit bigger. Now, that might be a little bit too big. but Okay. To me, that looks good. Now, I build mine using shapes. and node editing. There a little bit. Okay. Grab the directional arrows and pull it straight across. Now, I tend to tweak these a little bit sometimes. Takes me forever. There we go. Let's find the notes. You gotta wait until that box turns green. Doesn't look like it's going to get any better than that. You'll hear me clicking because a lot of times when you just click on the eraser, it'll help that 
uh, shape kind of smooth out a little bit. We'll finish adding stuff and then come back in with the... Okay, and a member had requested like a flat tab envelope. And here is what the flat tab will look like. So when you place it on this, when it's sealed, And what you want to look for, see right there, there's that little bit that's overhanging. And then I got to work on those flaps because they're bothering me. What I'm doing right now is just dragging the box and highlighting them to get rid of some of these nodes. I can always add nodes to it, but right now I want to try to eliminate some of them. Like that one I want to get rid of. Oh, just a little thing. And to add nodes. Okay, when you go to add nodes and it does that, hit the escape key because that is not what you want to see. That's what you want right there. Nope, not that. That one. That one. And that one. Hopefully a better look. So what I did is I went in and I did that kind of like selection box around all of them. And then I hit backspace on my computer. And that deleted all of those nodes. Because when you start having a whole bunch of them, what they do there. Now you see what that gave me. So what I did was I went in while I was in the node editing mode and I did this. Okay. That selects all the nodes in that box. So all of them that are blue, when I hit my backspace on my computer, that will delete every one of those nodes. Be careful, because when you do that, then all of them will highlight, so you click out of it. Then you move, you go back, and you highlight them. That will bring up your next lot of blue dots. When you hit backspace, all of them that are in blue will be removed. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and hit it now. Okay, so it removed all of them. Do not do it again. You see all of these that are in blue? It's going to delete your whole thing. So you don't want to do that. You click off of it and then go back for it. Okay, so that's what I did. All right, so now let's go get us another triangle. Or we can do another flat tab if you want. Let's do a flat tab.
And you can build these differently. Like I like to set mine in here and grow them. Oh, actually. Because then that allows me to see where it's going to be when it's folded in. So that I know it's the right shape and size. Okay. So then what I do. Okay. So then what I do is I highlight it. I come up to object, transform, flip vertical. Okay. Then I just lower it right down to just about the edge and not quite. We got a spaceship going here. Okay, I need to know that it that's got a nice curve on it. This is one. Not that it you'll really be seeing, but Click out of it because they're all blue again. Okay, so I know I need to delete this node. Put that in there. I could uh, increase my view too, but I'm just going. So that's a little bit better. I could keep tweaking it if I wanted to keep this, but I'm not going to keep this. For you, go ahead and increase your uh, view down here. And then work on making that uh, equal to this. Okay? All right. So there is your card or your envelope that will fit this card. Okay? And want to add score lines. Come here. Grab one, two, one, two. So this little fella over here. And I love when they put those blue lines in for us. And it tells us exactly where Here, so you can pick them one at a time. Just click on the one, and that should give you one at a time. Oops. Okay, and I'll, if, oops, scroll a wee bit more. All your lines look good. Oops, can't do that, I forgot, I left my black card back there. Put that to sleep. Grab all of them. Come over to our little palette. Now we're going to change it to little dashes. All right, so there's your little envelope. Oh, let's bring our little guy back to sleep and select him. Object, arrange, bring to the front, and there it is. So that's where our little card will sit inside of our envelope. All right, guys, and when you export this, okay, so you can go ahead and group it. But remember, when you get it to the scan and cut, um, it will break it apart. So uh, when you go to move it, these little um, 
score marks will be separate, okay? Because remember, you cannot merge it, because watch what happens when you merge. Everything um, will turn either into a cut or a dash mark. So that will be a solid cut line. Uh, sometimes when you do it, uh, the entire thing will turn into a dash line. All right, so don't do that. Just leave it like this. Take it to the machine. Go in, do the um, group, so then it all sticks together. Then you can move it. All right? If you have any further questions, you can come and find me over at Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook. But remember, you can use this for any size um, card that you want. Um, I do mine based on the actual size of my card. So as far as using like A2, A4, all that size, um, I use the cheat sheet. Okay? Have a good day, guys.